I told Taylor that we would be doing a really long road trip for her birthday. So I basically drove her to work today. I was gonna get a rental car, I was gonna get a van where you could lay the seats down. I could put like a bed in the back and she could sleep while I drove through the night uh, and into like the next day. But that's not what we're doing. We're not doing a really long road trip. Uh, we're actually gonna be flying. So I'm just curious to see what she's gonna look like or what her expression is gonna be when she sees that it's just me here in my car, not in a van. So let's see. She's super confused right now. What is it? Why are you in your car? You ready? Where are we going? Look, you found it. I found it. Even though you told me you didn't. Now the adventure can really begin. We'll see. All right, we finally made it all the way to Bar Harbor, Maine. And Taylor said that she knew exactly where we were going as soon as she saw how long it was gonna take. Drive. But drive. I figured it out. there are still more surprises oh, to I'm be sure had. So we are staying at, uh, okay. this is the Anchorage Motel here in Bar Harbor, Maine. Don't, don't think we're in Alaska. I think what's even better, especially for Taylor, is that this is a classic motel. And the fact that you get a key once again, just like last time. That key, well, it's actually pretty nice. Oh, nice. For a motel, definitely been refurbished. For a motel, hotel. Yeah. Oh, well, it actually is pretty good. Yeah. Not bad at all. Oh I don't know how well people can hear me because I don't have my mic on, but. The bathroom is huge. It looks very modern too, which is nice. So we are walking through Acadia and uh, you know, uh, well, no, it's Bar Harbor actually. It is Bar Harbor. But uh, it's, you know, I said this in the car, I, I actually really like how, um, I kind of expected it to be a very small place with not a lot of go a lot of stuff going on, but it's like this nice seaside town that- There's quite a lot of people. Has a hustle and bustle about it. <laughs> Alrighty, we've reached our first part of the trip. What are we doing? We're gonna do a sunset cruise. Oh, are we? Yep. That's so funny because in the car I literally said, oh, that would be cool to do a sunset cruise. And Josh is like, oh yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> kind of exciting. <laughs> so if we can, I'd like to go all the way to the top if they'll let us go all the way up. Let's go. And if, if we it's can't get cool. all the way up there, then we can stay down here towards the bottom along the railing. I want to be uh, not obscured like yeah. a last. So. Let's, you go first, go upstairs. I don't think so. I think we're going to have to go back down. One lesson that I learned from Alaska, I did not have the best stuff, especially when we were out on the water, to kind of control shake because boat moves around a little bit. It is a little tough, so I bought a gimbal for this monopod. I would have bought this lens, but I'm not allowed to. Because that lens is expensive. Check this out. So I can like loosen this up a little bit. I can spin it. I can adjust with how the water is moving. All right, so the other thing with this cruise is it's a sunset and nature cruise, but they're also supposed to serve drinks. Oh. Uh, like halfway through, I think. I don't know if they're included, but still though, kind of cool. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Glacieritas would be amazing. So it's been a little breezy, a little chilly. You know, we came from 95 degrees and like 150% humidity. So <laughs> it's cold, <laughs> but it's been really nice. And we have like a perfect clear sky, a beautiful sunset. We got to see a little bit of wildlife. We saw some bald eagles. We saw some seals. Oh, it's been quite nice. <laughs> I've enjoyed this so far. And we just got here today, so.
This entire trip, I was trying to keep secret from Taylor. I, I, I did this back in 2021 when we went to Vegas for her birthday because that's something she really wanted to do. And I was trying to keep it as secret as possible, but it slowly started to become like, I, I just couldn't do it because there were places that she wanted to go where she needed to have proper dress attire. And I definitely wasn't gonna be on the hook for suggesting you wear this. And then we get there and she's like, this isn't right. So I had to let her in on it. There were some other secrets that I kept along the way though, uh, which was going out to see the Grand Canyon, which has ever since that moment really opened the door for us to do a lot of other things. And I think it's been great and it's awesome uh, that I could kind of share in that experience with her. And the same with me, it was our first time seeing the Grand Canyon. Um, and you know, now we were just in Athens and uh, Santorini and all these really great places. This trip, I wanted to keep it a little bit more local to here in the States but I also still wanted to plan it around something that ever since we came back from the Grand Canyon, Taylor's been making this list of things that she wants to see around the world and places that she wants to experience. And so I took something that we were gonna see next year when we got to Iceland and tried to see if we could see it here in the States this year. And for Taylor's birthday, you know, trying to plan this stuff and keep it secret is really, really tough and extremely difficult, but I had a lot of really great help from some of our friends that we met last year on the uh, on our Alaskan group cruise, and we have been really close friends ever since then. Uh, and they live in Maine, and so they made this whole experience a lot better. We're gonna have to climb this hill no matter what. I wasn't that steep a couple streets over. So I figured we just knock it out. Still back there? I'm trying. I'm just confused. That's why we're running. Cause I'm starving down this street, right? Uh, I think we're gonna go up one more. You sure? Yeah, I got the directions on my phone. Okay, I just feel like we didn't walk down this far. Bro, you said you have it on your phone and you're not even looking at your phone. Huh? Oh yeah, sorry. I think we need to turn up here at this, uh, at this next, we gotta turn up here at this next road. Yeah, I think we follow your YouTube channel. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday! Thank you. Oh my gosh. Is this where we're going? No, oh. we're leaving. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I know. I'm like, this is not right. We are not going the right direction. <laughs> I said she's gonna know that they're not going the right way. I was literally getting on my phone to like look at where it's at. I'm like, this is not right. <laughs> Athens all over again. <laughs> so Taylor yesterday said, oh man, it'd be so cool to see the sunrise. I did say that. And here we are. <laughs> Something that I must stress that you do, if you make your way all the way up to Acadia National Park, is watch the sunrise right here from Cadillac Mountain. You will be the first people in the United States to be able to see the sun rise over the horizon. And it is just wonderful it's beautiful it is magical and it's just so different and awesome and a great place to be and you're surrounded by so many other people who you know are there to see the same thing and i have to stress that you do need a reservation to get up here and park your car now if you can't get one you can definitely hike your way up to the top of cadillac mountain it's going to be quite a climb but we definitely saw some other people doing it but this was something that Taylor had talked about before and Tyler actually had brought up that he was going to try and get a reservation for it and huge shout out to him for getting one for us so that we could come up here and watch this awesome sunrise take place. And here we are again. We're right back almost where we started yesterday and then we went and saw the sunrise this morning or was it the sunset? I can't remember. <laughs> and uh, we walked down the street for breakfast. Now we're walking back down to go back down to town. What are we doing, Taylor? Do you know? No idea. No I'm just idea. along for the ride at this point. No idea. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully it goes well. I have some guesses, but I don't know. Hey. 
we've made it back to the Bar Harbor Whale Watch Company. And today, instead of doing a sunset cruise, we're doing a wildlife cruise to see puffins. <gasps> I don't know if we're actually gonna get like how close we'll actually get to see them. Oh, so, but did you bring your big camera lens? Yeah, that's of all course. that matters. <laughs> we were here last we night. We were yeah, here last yeah. night. Came back for the for the morning. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think we we're, were gonna go back there again today. So <laughs> we made it. It's funny that uh, the one guy recognized us. That was really back. funny. <laughs> and we've got the same kind of area that we were at yeah, last night. We do. Except Caitlin and Tyler are here this time. So they. <laughs> So let me tell you guys something that trying to get those puffins was almost impossible on the camera. I'm surprised that I even got some usable shots. They are so small and they fly so quickly and we don't really get that all that close to them. So it made it difficult. But once we finish up with a really great little boating tour here in Bar Harbor, it was time to go and do a little bit of shopping because if you guys don't know, I always love to try and get some stickers so that I can put them on my suitcase. and. Uh, you know, Taylor wants to usually get a shirt or a sweatshirt or something like that. So we hit up the town to go and see if we can find anything. Apparently they're getting so much rain, they have to release the dam on Sunday. It's going to be unraftable. They oh, said so we can go Monday or Saturday. Did, was the only two options or did they say you could cancel too? We could cancel too. I mean, if we can't make the other two days work, it's not like... I'm just trying to think of what else we yeah. can do. But... That would be cool to do. So we just discovered that Taylor has actually never had a lobster roll. No, I and, haven't, but I gotta get that pickle away from the bottom. And uh, Bar Harbor yes. here in Maine is known for lobster fishing. Lobster. It sure is. Farming, lobster fishing. Fishing. It's the fishing. Okay. <laughs> Looks pretty good. Yeah, it does. Okay. I mean, I can take that lettuce off probably. Oh my gosh. They're both the same. I didn't ask for any cheese. Some big chunks of lobster on there. Yeah, there is. They're going for a couple extra bites, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, is it pretty good? I've deprived myself my entire life of eating lobster rolls because it's really good. But actually, I'm glad that Maine is the first place that I've ever had one. <laughs> so we are uh, going to the visitor center over here real quick before we continue to journey around for the rest of Taylor's birthday weekend, I guess, whatever you want to call it. I love going into here because it always reminds me that I didn't bring my passport book for <laughs> national parks. But you can still get a stamp. I haven't. All right, so we have been out on the, uh, what is it technically called? The, the Loop Road. The Loop Road. That's what, that's what Tyler's calling. I don't know if it is no, actually called actually what the it Loop said Road. On the signs. Yeah. All right, and yep. so Taylor had said something to me yesterday about the Thunder Hole, and I was like, the Thunder Hole? What the heck is it's that like thing? It keeps happening. Of course, I know what I'm talking like he about. He doesn't know what I'm talking about because. Apparently, he's already got it all planned out. So. That's right. That's where we're going. Stop that hole. So, we've made it down here. Now, when we were on our cruise earlier, the guy who was doing kind of the overhead uh, talk had said that you need to come here in between high and low tide to actually be able to like get all of the, the noise and hear everything. So...
this is so funny. This is like a expectations versus reality scenario for us uh, because this happened in Yosemite when I was really excited to see the waterfall. And then there was no waterfall <laughs> because it was uh, dry because there was no snow. <laughs> So just to give you guys a little bit of a rundown here on this whole kind of road trip that we took, what we did was we flew from Orlando to Boston and we flew to Boston because number one, that's where I could get the cheapest flights to get up into Maine. We could have flown into Portland, but the flights were really expensive and it was actually cheaper for us to fly into Boston, rent a car uh, for the time that we were up there and return. Uh, than it was to fly into Portland and rent a car. So anytime that you're planning a road trip, you know, there are different things to consider and you have to think about in your mind where you want to go and what you want to do, because sometimes the final destination that you want to go to isn't necessarily the best place to fly into. So we flew into Boston. We went from Boston up the coast of Maine and into Bar Harbor. In Bar Harbor, we spent uh, basically the evening and most of the entire day touring after we did the little cruise, you know, seeing Thunderhole. Um, we also just drove around a little bit. And from Bar Harbor, we went to Rockland, Maine. And in Rockland is actually where we did our next little uh, puffin cruise. So today is officially Taylor's birthday. We have another puffin cruise, which we, we, we looked at the tickets and it said you had to be here 30 minutes prior. They start giving your tickets away. We got here about 10, so we, we hustled. 10, 10 to 15 minutes and, prior. <laughs> and there's there's no boat here. But we made it. What do you see out there? A house, some buoys, a dock, some birds. Taylor's just looking at people's heads. No, I'm not. <laughs> Now, we found this Puffin Cruise to probably be the best one that we did out of the whole weekend. Uh, and that was really because it was on a much smaller boat. There was a lot less people. And so it, it just felt a little bit more intimate. It felt a lot better uh, as far as just like an experience goes. And we got to learn a little bit more, right? So they were actually pulling up some of these uh, lobster crates and uh, showing us how that they do the lobstering uh, here in Maine, which was pretty cool. They didn't have any in this first one, and they pulled up another one, and it had just one in it, and it was just big enough to keep, and they kind of taught us about uh, a lot of, like, the stuff that they do to, you know, make sure that they maintain a healthy ecosystem for these lobsters. Can I hold it? And all, and we'll line them up. We take my picture. <laughs> But overall, this cruise itself just felt better too when it came to the puffins because it seemed like we were able to get a little bit closer um, to the actual uh, nesting area itself and get a better. Uh, vantage point of the puffins which was really cool and and uh and really great so you know not everything is all the same there are different cruises and each cruise is a different experience so if you're looking to go to maine you're looking to do something similar to this i would recommend uh doing this particular cruise which is linked in the description so you guys can check that out uh this one we found was just by far the best overall now once we finished up with the cruise be, being that it was taylor's birthday we kind of wanted to do something special for taylor um she loves lobster and so we thought what better way to kind of celebrate her birthday than having this lobster bake uh for her birthday and so tyler uh cooked up some different types of meats we had some lobster and uh, we had a birthday cake and it was uh, it was really great and a lot of fun well, as we continue our uh, journey through Maine today, we are doing a little tour of a local winery, the Cellar Door Winery here uh, in Maine. And cool little place. And I don't know if we're gonna do any wine tasting or anything like that, but uh, it's nice trying to, you know, check out some local places when you're doing a little road trip slash tour slash whatever this is that we're doing. So it's cool. So we have sat down because uh, Caitlin and Tyler got us a little reservation here. It's really for Caitlin and Taylor, maybe more so, but you know. You like wine now. So what have you got over there? All right, so we're doing a little tasting and there were three different menus that you can choose from. There was a red menu, a white menu, or a, a specialty menu that had, wow, Josh gets more wine than us, what? 
You yeah. get five and we get four. I oh, assume it was all the same price, right? He is right? special. I think it's fine. I'm pretty sure it was. Whatever. I looked he before we got here. He has a wine on his. Mm, I want a sip of that one. Okay. Not too bad. So Caitlin and I got the white menus, the white wines, and the there's four. The first one is Blanc de Blanc, which is like a sort of like a sparkling wine with soft bubbles. Then there's a Sauvignon Blanc. There's a unoaked Chardonnay, and then a the Bowie. Is that how you say that? And just for everybody's clarity, so you can see the differences here. I don't see any differences. So. <laughs> This one's darker than, like they're lighter to darker, it looks like to me. But maybe I'm crazy. And I'm then we also crazy. got uh, some meats some and cheeses here. Cause you know, uh, don't want to drink too much on an empty mm -hmm. stomach. So. Mm. All right, we're gonna go get on a sailboat. So this is the first time I think Taylor and I have ever been on a dinghy, dinghy but also on a sailboat, right? I you, haven't been down here yet. You've never been on a sailboat, have you? As you can imagine, I left some stuff out of this trip and mostly that was the great food that we ate. And there was quite a bit of it, but also almost an entire day where we drove north into the back country to hopefully see a moose. And guess what? We didn't see one. But most importantly, I'd say that this trip was overall a great success. And we did quite a bit in just a few days. There is also so much more to explore in Maine and one thing that we really missed was the whitewater rafting and then obviously seeing a moose. But it, the whitewater rafting, like I said, I had an entire day planned for video and I just, we didn't get to do it. But here's something I will leave you all with and that is sometimes the best trips are the ones that don't go according to plan and this was definitely one of them. So if you're looking to plan a trip similar to this, make sure you send us an email and we can give you all of the details and the tour operator so you can have a great trip just like we did. We will see you all in the next one.